name is Noor Asinda from EH2205B. Today I'm going to show you a fermentation process in bread making. There are three sets of bread uh, with different ingredients that I'm going to show to you today. Uh, and I will make a comparison at the end of this video. Okay, let's start off with the materials and ingredients that we need in this experiment. We need water, foil pan, sugar, salt, flour, and yeast. Let's move on to making the bread. First, we need to label your container. Container 1, container 2, and container 3. Next step, add half cup of flour into each container. tablespoon of sugar into container 2. Then add a little bit of salt into each container. Then we add a quarter teaspoon of yeast into container 1 and container 2. Then we mix the ingredients. Pour 2 third cup of warm water into each container. Mix until the consistency is smooth. Then we let the dough rest at room temperature for 30 to 45 minutes. the dough into the foil pans. Bake for 20 to 30 minutes until the top of each loaf is golden brown. While waiting for our bread, let's talk about the science behind it. Fermentation is a metabolic process converting carbohydrates into acid or alcohol. This process occurs in microorganisms such as fungi or bacteria. Fermentation occurs in the absence of oxygen, anaerobic respiration. The basic chemical equation of fermentation is Glucose will produce 2 ethanol plus 2 carbon dioxide. What is yeast? Yeast is fungus that eats sugar and produces carbon dioxide and alcohol as waste. The carbon dioxide is what ultimately creates the airy texture in bread. But for this to work, bakers have to trap the carbon dioxide. A protein group called gluten is what comes in handy here. It is a stretchy substance that works a little bit like bubble gum. The gluten in bread wheat is actually a mix of different proteins. When they are combined with water, they create a lot of chemical bridges and protein chains, which we collectively call gluten. The flour provides most of the structure of the bread. Water in the mixture activates protein in the flour to form gluten. So when bakers knead the bread dough, they develop this gluten further by linking its molecule together. Once the yeast begins producing carbon dioxide bubbles, the dough catches those bubbles in little gluten balloons and then the whole loaf starts to rise. Bread 1 with no sugar is smaller compared to bread 2. This is because sugar acts as fuel for the yeast in its fermentation reaction. Bread 2 is the biggest among all, double in size. This is due to the carbon dioxide produced by the fermentation reaction that gives the airy texture of the bread. Bread 3 does not double in size. We did not put yeast into bread 3. Hence, no fermentation process occurs. The bread does not rise because no carbon dioxide is produced. After 3 days, we can see that bread 2, which undergoes fermentation process, has the longest shelf life. 